what is going on y'all welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome i am mia with the glam corridor and my channel focuses on all things fashion style and beauty and for today's video i wanted to share some summer inspiration with a few outfits so if you're interested in that please stick around but make sure you are subscribed to my channel and we'll get into the video so the first thing i want to talk about is slip dresses but let me just tell y'all how obsessed I am with this color. Chartreuse is my absolute favorite color of all time. Whenever I see anything in this color, if I'm shopping online, if I'm in store, if I'm scrolling Instagram or social media and I see this color, my eye is instantly drawn to this color. Like I cannot get enough of this color. I'm beyond obsessed. I have another piece that I'm going to share with y'all in a little bit. That's Chartreuse, like my favorite color of all time, hands down. But slip dresses are always a mood, no matter what time of year it is. But this summer, I cannot get enough of them, especially with the vibrant, bold colors that I'm seeing. So with slip dresses, they are very versatile. You can do so much with them. You can dress them up, obviously, especially with this one, since it has a high slit. Or you can even dress it down. This particular dress is from Zara. I got it last year during their sale. But they, there are so many different types and different styles that Zara still has and other brands. So I will link as many as I can in the description box. But I just wanted to share how you can dress up a slip dress and dress it down. So this is a way to elevate a slip dress. I just added a gold high heel sandal. This is from Nine West. And they have a lot of different shades in this particular style. And the last time I checked, they were on sale actually last week when i checked they had a sale on all of the different shades that they have in this particular style so i will have it linked in the description box if you are interested and i had to go monochromatic with the purse option i cannot stress enough how much i love this color i can't even tell y'all how many pieces i have in this color it's ridiculous but um and then you can just add accessories to elevate the look even more these are my typical bracelets that I always share from Amazon. In case you missed it, I will add the link in the description box. And I don't think I shared this necklace. It's from Dylan Lex. It actually goes with another piece that is like a really big, bold statement piece. But I just decided to take this particular piece and add it to the outfit. I like the choker style and I like how it has the little drop piece. I just felt like it went really well with the dress. This is like a cute summer date night look so let me just show you how to make this style casual all right so for all of my sneaker heads and nine heel wearers this style is for you i know everybody doesn't like heels either you can't wear them or you just don't like them because they hurt i get it so i like to share as many versatile looks as possible but this is something that's still sexy and still cute but you're comfortable if you're going to be doing a lot of walking even if you're not doing a lot of walking, this is still something that's very cute and very fun. And I just paired this Balenciaga crossbody with it. And I actually wore this same exact outfit recently. A couple of weeks ago, my husband and I went to New York City and I wore this outfit. So let me just explain. I'm from North Carolina, born and raised. And if you are familiar at all with North Carolina weather, the humidity here is insane so in new york as i said i wore this outfit and it was still hot but the humidity is nowhere near north carolina's humidity so i was comfortable i wasn't sweating i wasn't like okay i'm ready to go in i was fine we were doing a lot of walking so let me just share this i'm going to do a little segue this sneaker let me just take it off and give it a moment let me just sit down if you are looking for a comfortable sneaker that's not necessarily pretty, I highly recommend these ASICs. The style is called Gel Cayano. I forgot the exact name of this particular one, but I will have it linked in the description box. But let me just tell y'all, we did so much walking in New York City at one point. My husband and I walked 10 miles, no exaggeration, and I had on these sneakers, and it literally felt like I was walking on a cloud. 
we got back to the hotel room, my feet weren't hurting at all. So shout out to A6 for this shoe. And I actually have another color. Let me share the other color. This is the other color that I have. Same style, just different color, but still the same comfort. Like, I'm going to just give you a little backstory. So for oh, a little over 10 years, I didn't wear sneakers at all. I wore heels and flats. When I was a teenager, I obviously wore sneakers. And in my early 20s, I wore sneakers. But there was a long period of time up until two years ago where I didn't wear sneakers at all. So here lately for the past two years, I have gradually been adding to my sneaker collection. And I have lots of pairs at this point. These, um, this is not an ad or anything. I'm not getting endorsed by ASICS at all. These sneakers are the most comfortable sneaker I have ever owned, past or present extremely comfortable if you're looking for again if you're looking for a sneaker that is super comfortable and not necessarily pretty but you can wear with basically anything i highly recommend these and again i will add it in the description box sorry i went off on that tangent but i just had to share these sneakers they are the moment right now so again i just wanted to share the look head to toe again like i said it's still giving sexy but comfortability is always key so let me get into this next look. So y'all know I couldn't leave without sharing a graphic tee look. This graphic tee is by Fashion Bomb Daily. They also have it in black. I love gray, so I went with the gray option, but I still want to get the black just to have it on hand, just in case they stop selling it. But I'm always down for a graphic tee that has any black characters or black artists on it. And not to mention, this is just bringing back so many childhood memories for me. It's so nostalgic. It's a storm from X-Men, just in case you didn't know. And these jeans are just basic wide leg jeans from Zara. They always have some sort of variation of this jean every year. Typically it's just called ripped wide leg jean if it has rips in it. If it doesn't have rips, it'll just be called wide leg jeans. Or sometimes it'll be the letter Z, 1975 wide leg jeans. But like I said, they always have some sort of variation of these jeans. And I just love white leg jeans. I love the silhouette of it. Um, as far as the shirt, you can do a tight tuck like this. You can do a partial tuck where you just kind of slightly pull it out and untuck it. So that it's a little bit loose and baggy. Totally up to you. It's just different styles of tucking. Just make sure you do the same in the back. Or you can do a semi-tuck like this, where you just have half of it out, half of it tucked like that. But it's just different ways. Or you can do like roll-in tuck, where you can just tuck it up under itself like that. So... Just depends, or you can just cut it. I cut several t-shirts. You can just cut it right up under where the graphic starts. So it's completely up to you. But like I said, with this particular one, I just wanted to keep it this way. I wanted to keep it long, or you can keep it untucked. Totally up to you, whatever your style is. But for this look, I wanted to pair these red Steve Madden sandals with it. I've had these sandals for, I know, over five years, maybe longer. And then I wanted to do a casual look and I wanted to pair these Lost and Found Jordans with this look. And then I'll also share what bag I want to share with each look. All right, so this is a look style with the red heels. And I also went with a red bag to pick up on the red accents in the t-shirt. But most importantly, I just wanted to share how adding just any type of statement jewelry would elevate a casual look in particular so I didn't want to add anything yet I wanted you to see before I added the necklace and then after I'm just gonna add this bold statement necklace this is from Julia Vine and if you don't like chunky bold statement necklaces you can do something that's more fitting for your style but I just like bold chunky statement necklaces that's just my style so just adding any type of statement jewelry to any look is going to instantly elevate it. See? You don't have to do a whole lot. 
that's just my secret like if i'm doing any type of casual simple style if you just add any type of statement jewelry if you stack your bracelets it'll just instantly elevate the look and it'll just add attention to the statement pieces that you've added to the look whether it's pops of color like this or statement jewelry or both in this case so let me share the look with the sneakers all right and then this is the look style with sneakers and then i went with this um, balenciaga bag again and y'all i just realized that i don't have a lot of i actually don't this is the only black crossbody bag that i had and i just realized that so i'm glad i have this one i like the size of this one this is the the small in the balenciaga bag i think and the this is um this style is called monaco I know they have the mini one. I think this is the small and they go like medium, large, extra large and all that. But I like the size of this one. Um, but yeah, I need to invest more in black crossbody bags. I just don't really like black. I like color or neutral. So, but whatever, I'm just going off on a tangent. But this is something cute. I like the pops of color. Again, the pops of red that is drawing from the t-shirt and the sneaker. So another fun look, still cute for summer. So now for my favorite piece, I've shared this next piece that I'm going to share. I shared it recently on Instagram. So I had to give it another moment. Like I'm just giving another moment for these pants. Like my two favorite things with pants are pants that are super high waisted, which these are. And I, like I mentioned before, I love wide leg style pants. These are ultra wide leg or palazzo style jean, I mean style pants. And like I said, I shared them before on Instagram and on Pinterest as well as YouTube shorts. But in case you missed it, this is how I styled it previously with a floral print bustier top, which is old from H&M. And then I also styled the pants with this graphic tee wanted to show how you can dress it up and down like I usually do but I wanted to share a style tip if you are into cropped style tops or if you want to get into them but you don't ne you don't necessarily like to show a lot of your stomach or a lot of your midriff the best way to do that is to pair the cropped style top with something that's high-waisted like these pants so that's why I wanted to show that particular look just because that's my personal style. I don't like to show a lot of my stomach or a lot of my midriff. I like to show just a little sliver. And so that's why I wanted to share that particular look. So again, if you want to get into crop tops or if you've seen a crop top and you're like, mm, I don't really like to show my stomach like that, just make sure that you're pairing the crop top with a bottom that's super high-waisted so that you're getting that simple contrast that you're looking for. But like I said... I had to give these pants another moment. The color, the style, how high-waisted they are. Like, I was, as soon as I saw these pants, I was like, take my money right now, get in my car, they are mine. Like, forget anything that you heard about anything else. But I wanted to pair the pants with this bodysuit that I got from Zara. I love the colorway in it, and I like how it has the color chartreuse kind of splashed in there and I also wanted to share how you can pull from the different colors in this particular bodysuit to go with the look but before I do that let me share the shoes I told y'all about chartreuse like it's the options are endless when it comes to chartreuse with me like so many options with chartreuse but I got these from nine west they wrap around the ankle a couple of times and then it has a buckle and you're not really going to see, no matter what shoe you wear with these pants, you're not really going to see the shoe. But if I sit down or whatever, obviously you'll see it. So I just wanted to go with something monochromatic. And like I said, I wanted to kind of show how you can pull from the different colors in this bodysuit um, with different handbags. And another thing I wanted to mention with these pants, they are a hot commodity. So whenever they are in stock, they sell out very quickly but um they and these pants are by anthropology i'm sorry if i didn't mention that they're from anthropology but i'll have it linked in the description box but when they sell out they typically have a wait list that you can sign up for so if you click on the link and they're sold out just make sure you sign up for the wait list 
and they typically restock them within like another week or so. Just be on the lookout because these pants are the moment. So let me show you how to pull different colors from this bodysuit with different handbags. All right, so I wanted to share this look with the orange bag. This bag is by Brahmin. The style is called Lane. Y'all make sure y'all get this bag before it sells out for the season. This orange is so delicious. It's so, so gorgeous. So again, I'm just pulling orange from this look and doing a little color blocking moment. And then I wanna share a couple of other shade options as well. So again, monochromatic. This is the same purse that I shared with the slip dress at the beginning of the video. I love monochromatic looks. So this is cute as well, just because again, chartreuse, monochromatic, my favorite. Let's go. Another color option. Very, very cute. Let me show you one more option. So I wanted to pull the darker green shade out of the bodysuit. So I paired this dark green Brahmin bag with it as well, which is another cute option. My favorite is either the orange or the chartreuse. I just feel like it's fine and it's bold and vibrant, which is my absolute favorite. But I just wanted to give a visual of how a darker green purse would look with this colorway, still cute, still giving summer. And again, like I said, I just had to give these pants another moment just because they are absolutely beautiful. And another thing I forgot to mention is they do have the different lengths in this particular style pant. They come in tall, standard, which is regular and petite. So like I said, just be on the lookout for these pants if they don't have them in stock in your size, just sign up to get put on the wait list and they will let you know when they are back in stock. That is it for today's video, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you got some inspiration and some good ideas. And most importantly, my main thing is just make sure you always shop your closet first before you impulse buy and all of the things. We are all guilty of it. I'm guilty of it myself. So if you see things that you like, fine, but just make sure that you assess your wardrobe first to see what you have. And then you can just gradually add to your wardrobe. But just always make sure you shop your closet first and get inspired by what you already have. So next week, I will be back with some more summer inspiration. I'll be sharing some looks with skirts, shorts, and some more dresses. So y'all be sure to come back and check it out. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.